Welcome back to another NBA video and in this video I'm going to be talking about the Memphis Grizzlies and how good they are actually because this Memphis team is a team that I believe could be one of the best teams in the whole league including possibly being the front runner in the Western Conference to finish as the one seed in my opinion. I think if I have to predict based on what I've seen so far this season I'd predict the Grizzlies finish as the one seed. They finished as the two seed last year but they just look that much better this year. I'm going to start things off with the obvious John Morant the leader of this team he's just been ridiculous every year he takes another step up whether it's with better shooting or just better driving everything that he does is just so good right now he's averaging about 29 points per game six rebounds per game seven assists per game he doesn't just do the flashy stuff he does the dirty work too trying to get some steals on defense getting a bunch of boards he had 10 boards last night against the timberwolves and now his backcourt mate some people are making the argument and take that this is the best backcourt in the league and Desmond Bain is just so good. He's taking that next step right now, and I think he's trying to be an all-star this year. I could very well see Desmond Bain being in an all-star game. He is averaging about 25 points a game to start this season, so Ja averaging about 29, Desmond Bain about 25. That's just a lethal backcourt with about five boards and five assists per game, but it's just everything he does is right. He's a lights-out sharpshooter from the three-point line, and then he can finish so well in the paint when he's driving. It feels like he can finish over every one. He was getting some nice finishes with Rudy Gobert contesting them last night, and he's just all around a great player for this Grizzlies team. Those are the two that I view as stars. Yes, I do think Desmond Bain is a star, not just a role player anymore, but then it's where the Grizzlies become the Grizzlies, and that's with Taylor Jenkins. He's a phenomenal head coach. He's done a great job in the few years he's been there, but then where the Grizzlies become the Grizzlies, what I mean by that is just depth. Whether they have some guys that they've signed or guys that they've drafted, I think their player development and their coaching is just second to none almost they just have so many guys that can fill out a deep rotation last year when John ja Morant missed a ton of time they were still winning a ton of games they even had a better record without John ja Morant they barely lost without John ja Morant and with Ja in he's just simply put one of the best players in the game so they're just so good so well coached so well ran and what I mean by that depth Steven Adams he's been around the league and he's not going to do anything flashy but he's playing a solid center he's not killing you Dylan Brooks he's a very good player as well sometimes he can get hot from beyond the arc and be a little sharpshooter but other than that he can light it up sometimes he's averaging 15 points on the season and then I'll be honest I haven't really heard of him too much going into the season but Santi Aldama the 30th overall pick of the Utah Jazz in the 2021 draft he came over to the Grizzlies by a trade and he's just been doing the little things right too the little things meaning fighting for boards not letting teams get defensive rebounds just giving yourself second chances those are the things the Grizzlies do right Brand Brandon Clark coming off the bench, he is phenomenal at that. He got a big four-year, $52 million extension this offseason. He's always active on the glass. He can put back a lot of shots as well. He's a great player to have, too. Very physical. He's averaging 10 points a game and almost four rebounds a game, but he has some games where he could he could get double-doubles if he gets the chance for sure. And then Tyus Jones, just a perfect backup point guard. When John Morant was out, part of the reason why they were winning is Tyus Jones is just perfect. He's always going to show up in the plus-minus. He's always always going to be making very smart decisions. He's going to rack up a lot of assists with very few turnovers. His assist to turnover ratio is historic in some seasons. He's had historic paces for that. Then they just have a bunch of other players like that that just do their job. And they're playing so far this year without Jaron Jackson Jr. as well, a defensive player of the year candidate from last year. He's getting a ton of rebounds, ton of blocks. He had eight games with five plus blocks, which is the most in the league last year. So this Grizzly team is scary and they just keep getting better. John Morant, Desmond Bain, they're stars. I'd argue Jaron Jackson can be a star when he's on the court as well, but then their depth and coaching, Taylor Jenkins, guys like Tyus Jones, Brandon Clark, Dylan Brooks, all these guys that they have are so good, and I think the Grizzlies are the one should be the one seed in the West by season's end. That's going to be my prediction, and I think they have a chance to make it to the finals.